Hey guys, Whipchip here with a brand new video, and today I'm going to be discussing something that I really don't like in LEGO Ninjago Season 15. Now, of course, there will be spoilers for LEGO Ninjago Season 15, so if you haven't watched it yet, go out and do so. It's very good. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So in Ninjago Season 15, we know that King Kalmar, or Kalmar, killed his father to get the position of king. Now, this was a very awesome moment. I thought it was great, really up the stakes for Ninjago Season 15, and was just an all-around great scene. Well, we all know the outcome of it. King Trimar is blasted and he dies. It's really sad to see Benthomar and his reaction to how Kalmar killed him using a trident that I'm gonna guess Trimar gave him. It's a very sad scenario and it is very emotional and also very tense thinking that the Merlopians, the guards of the city, have the ability to kill each other using these tridents or kill the ninja in this sense or even hurt the people of Ninjago City as we see them using them on during the battle with the Merlopians. It is just very interesting to see just how powerful these weapons are. Now, in the episode 10, the Explorers Club, or I guess the Riddle of the Sphinx is the episode name, we see the ninja traveling to the Explorers Club to get the Storm Amulet from Clutch Powers. However, while there, the Merlopians attack, same with Kalmar, and they start attacking the ninja. However, something really interesting happens during this fight. Kalmar blast Sensei Wu. He uses his trident while fighting Sensei Wu and literally does the exact same thing that he does to Trimar. However, nothing happens to Wu and he just shrugs it off. This is a very irritating moment seen as, you know, it killed Trimar. Now, however, I was able to sort of pass this up just because I felt like, eh, it's a one-time thing. Maybe he didn't charge it up nearly as much as he did with uh, Trimar, but then we see him do it again in the outside of the Explorers Club, and even worse, when he's outside, Kalmar is confronting Sensei Wu and the ninja as he's trying to escape with the Storm Amulet. He gets a hold of Misako and is about to blast her, and he charges up his trident more than I saw him doing with Trimar and he's about to blast her and then Sensei Wu goes in to save her and he literally gets shot. Now this is just super irritating to me and it's not like this is the last instance of this happening even though this is the biggest instance of it happening and the most irritating they do it one other time on the Hydro Bounty again I think he's trying to save Misako but then he gets blasted again. Now it wouldn't be bad if it was like sort of like it just didn't really affect them that much sort of it was just like a stun thing but no we see one of the Merlopians hit uh, Benthomar, and he's down for the count. He, like, he literally is kneeling because it hurts so much. And then also the same thing happened with Nia when he zaps the water. You don't zap someone with that trident and the water go crazy like that unless the trident really does some damage. But yeah, those are just my personal issues with this. I feel like this could be solved easily if they just sort of, you know, didn't have Wu get zapped that hard or have him repeatedly get zapped. I'm kind of confused. Are they setting something up for a future season? I don't know. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!